In this lesson, we will set up the Java development environment. First, we will install Java 8, then Apache Maven, and finally, install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Once the installation is done, I will create and run a Maven based project in IntelliJ IDEA just to check the setup is working as expected. Let's get started. To download and install JDK 8, search for Download JDK 8. We can click on the first link which is appearing over here for Java SE 8 archive download. Scroll down. At the bottom, we have this Windows 64 bit edition. Click on this. Click on this checkbox. Click on download button. We need to sign into Oracle. I have an existing account. In case you don't have, you have to create an account. Let me fill in my credentials. Text. Click sign in. Now the download has started. Now the download is complete. Let me go to the folder. This is the JDK EXE. One thing over here, I will install JDK, Maven, and IntelliJ in a single folder. Let me show you that folder. So this is the location I am going to use accordingly in the path I will provide this particular directory. In your case you can follow similar pattern or you can install into other locations. Going back to the JDK EXE file, double click, minimize everything, click next. This is the location that I am going to change, click on change and here I will give my folder. Change the directory, click ok, next. Click OK. Now it's asking for the JRE folder. This one also I'm going to change. Now in this case, it would ask for a folder location. So I would create a similar folder inside my directory JRE 1.8.0 underscore 202. So I have created a folder here instead of JDK. It is JRE only. Going back to the JDK installation, I need to point to the path where I want to install this. Selecting this JRE, click OK, click Next. So I would pause the recording for a while. Once the installation is complete, I'll resume. The installation is complete. Click on close. Now once the Java is installed, we need to set the Java home variable. For that, I need to go to the environment variables. Just type env and click on edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables. Here click on new under system variables. Here we would set the JDK directory location. Click OK. In path, you can click on edit. Click edit text. Click OK, go to the beginning and here you type percentage Java underscore home percentage bin. Click OK, OK again, click OK. Now let me open a command line. Checking the Java version, Java hyphen version, it is giving me 1.8.0 underscore 202. So Java is installed. Let's set up Maven. Go back to Google, just type download Apache Maven. Click on the first link in the search result, scroll down. Here, we are going to download the zip version. So, I will click over here. Download completed. Let me go to the location. Right click. Extract all. Extract. I am just going to cut this particular folder and put it in my directory. Paste. Now, this would be my Maven home. Let me just copy this. Same process. Environment variables. Click new. Set Maven home. Click OK. Same way, we need to add the bin folder of maven in the path variable click on path click edit edit text click ok home go to the beginning after java home i am going to add this maven home i have added after this bin semicolon percentage maven home percentage slash bin click ok ok again again press ok i need to open a new command prompt let me close this type mvn version it is giving me the Apache Maven version 3.9.8. So Maven is installed properly. Now we need to set up IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Type download IntelliJ IDEA. Click on the first link in the search result. Click on accept all. So here if you download directly the ultimate edition or the professional edition would get installed. We don't need that. We need the community edition. So click on other versions. Now here we have all the latest versions of IntelliJ IDEA but we need to be a bit careful regarding the JDK compatibility as we are going to use JDK 8. So I would prefer something little bit older so that there is no compatibility issue. I am going to 2023.3.7 and clicking on this EXE for Windows. Download is completed. Double click over here. Click on next. So the initial path is C colon program files. I am going to change this with my custom directory. Next. Select this checkbox to create a desktop shortcut. Click next. Click install. This installation would take a while. I would pause the recording and once it is complete, I'll resume. Now the installation is complete. Let me click on finish. I'm going to create my project in a specific directory under C drive. 
I have this particular location all IntelliJ project. This is the location where I would create my IntelliJ idea project. Let's click on this IntelliJ icon. Click on this checkbox. Click on continue. I would prefer not to send anything. Don't send. I generally customize the look and feel a little bit. I would change the theme to light. That is one thing. Let me maximize this. Go to projects. Click on new project. In my case, I would be creating a Maven project. So first thing, I would change the location. I'll point to the directory where I want to put all my projects, provide a name. JTK, it has already identified the one that we have installed. In case there is none, we can download or add from here. We can point to the location where my JTK is installed. That is fine. Catalog is internal. Archetype, I can select the quick start. You can click on advanced settings here we have the group id the artifact id this is based on the project name that i have provided and we can go ahead and click on create so right now intellij is loading the project one thing here the ui is a bit different the ui look and feel has changed i prefer the old ui so once the project gets loaded i can change the ui to the old look and feel let's wait for a while so now the indexing is done. I need to change the look and feel. I need to reset to the old UI, switch to classic UI. It would restart IntelliJ, but I'm comfortable in that UI. So let the IntelliJ get restarted. So the project is loaded now. If I click on project, let me close this. So this is my sample project. And if I want to run this Maven related commands, I have all the lifecycle and plugins over here. I can run it from here also. But one thing I wanted to mention over here, if I click on file, settings, build execution and deployment, under build tools, if I select Maven, we are using the bundled Maven, which is 3.9.5. But we installed Maven, that is of no use from IntelliJ unless we point to it. So I would rather point to the Maven, which I installed. Now I'm going to select this one, click OK. So we have the custom Maven version which we installed in our system. Click on apply, click OK. Let me create a sample Hello World class just to run this. Okay, it is already generated by the template of this project. Let me open this. Let's wait for a while. It is downloading some plugins for this sample Maven project. So once the plugin is downloaded, this is fine. I can just for test purpose run clean and install on this. Click on this run Maven build. Okay, this project has a test folder also where there is a sample app test which got executed. It's a dummy test actually. Anyways, the build is successful. Let me close this Maven section. Right click, run app.main. Click on allow access. For the first time, I think it may appear in your case also. Yes, it is just providing a console output of Hello World. So, to summarize, we have installed JDK 8, Maven, and also installed IntelliJ IDEA, little bit older edition, so that it does not have conflict with JDK 8. And we have created a very simple Maven-based project from IntelliJ IDEA and run the project. And also, one important thing, we changed the settings of IntelliJ IDEA to point to our custom Maven, which we installed instead of the bundled version. So, with this, our development environment for Java is ready.